<laughs> don't, don't be startled, Miss Aliha. Don't be scared, it's just me. Miss, Mr. Sadula. Oh. Mm. oh, Mr. Sadula. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought I was home all alone. I didn't see you there. Uh, come in, come in. My goodness, it's so nice to see you. This is for you. Oh. Thank you, how sweet. They're so lovely. Um, but let me make you um, some coffee. Oh, I, I didn't know that you were coming, otherwise I would have prepared. Don't it. trouble yourself, Mrs. Aliha. Oh, I'm hardly sweet. a stranger. I'm just here to have a little chat with you. They told me that you've been sick, so I came to check on you. Yeah, it's true. They say that I'm really sick, but then I don't know what happened. Actually, I'm here to talk about business regarding selling your house. I'd really like to come to an agreement regarding your family's property. What should we do, Mrs. Aliha? Let's finalize this once and for all. Your sons say that it's your decision. Since the house is officially in your name, um, I think it would be best to sell it. Goodness. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I think that the best thing to do right now would be to discuss it with Hassan. Oh, but you know he's not interested in this kind of business. Oh, not really. That's true. They all say that it's up to you. They all told me that your word is the only one that counts. <laughs> I can come here with a notary, and then you can go ahead and name me as your proxy. Huh? I really don't know what to say. I mean, I don't even really like that house, you know. So I should just get rid of it. You should. Right? I'll sell, I'll sell. We can't live here forever. I want to sell it and travel yeah, the world. Yeah. I'll sell. And that's my final word on that. I think that Mrs. Zaliha is just fine upstairs. No mental issues at all. She mentioned that she wants to sell the house. I can come back here with a notary so that she can name me as her official proxy, right? Come on. Come on, doctor. You know I'm going to need you to sign off on this. Listen, I've already told your friend here. If I sign off on a report for a woman in that mental condition, I could lose my job. Or worse. We'll provide you with adequate protection, doctor. Don't worry. So just think it over. You think it over, and we'll be by to talk again later, all right? Kubra. You get. I'm very happy to see you're back. I have to say I'm pretty happy myself. Have a good night. We're here. Yeah. Well, um, I came by here to thank you. That's not nice. Uh, you sent me those desserts while I was in there. Ah, oh, I see. Sorry. Well, I remember that you liked them very much. It made me happy that you sent them. Those desserts really brightened my day up. You know, it's kind of strange in there. Everyone does what they can to create a life in prison. Some people write, some people read, other things yeah. like that. I did my best to imagine a life for myself while I was in there as well. Thanks. A life which would include you. What? Why are you angry? Did I say something to upset you? You get. You barely know me at all. I know you. You're compassionate. You cared about me even when I was away in prison. And you're also a brave person. You did that for me despite what your father might do to you. Kubra. Listen, you are very beautiful. And your eyes remind me of a calm sea. Is it so strange that I might like you? Don't say things like that to me. 